Today, I want to let you know that God has never been a part of these contracts that we sign. We were never focused on God when we were signing these contracts. The people that made these contracts may not even be godly. Let's talk about it. What's going on Closer to God Ministries? Welcome back to another Righteous Field, another Spirit Field episode. Today, I hope to get you closer to God's will, closer to the truth, and closer to the kingdom. This one is going to be sensitive for some people, but I ask you to have this sermon. In here, I'm going to tell you certain things that you need to do. You need to, you need to go back and research on your own. That way, you're not taking it just as me telling it to you as true. Today, I want to talk to you about marriage licenses, marriage certificates in the United States. Okay, and I want you to realize a lot of you guys know that it's very easy to get a marriage certificate, to get a marriage license. You know, you pretty much have a driver's license. You go to the court, fill out a little bit of paperwork, and then 15 minutes, you know, in some places, you're in and out, you are married. And I want to talk about why God is not in this and why you face hell on high water when you try to exit a legal marriage, okay? And in exiting a legal marriage, it doesn't take 15 minutes. It takes a lot longer. It can take 30, 60 days, sometimes years. And we must focus on the origin of where this type of contract comes from, why it was created. It wasn't created for uh, a, a, a godly purpose. It wasn't created for a righteous purpose. And in history, you will find some alarming things that will pretty much have you feeling some kind of way because the way that we go out and we get these contracts, these marriage licenses these days, doesn't show historically what it used to mean. And I want you to understand when you go in there, and I've done this, I've done this two times, I want you to understand the okie doke that you are setting yourself up for when you are not focused on God, okay? When you go to the courthouse and you fill out the paperwork, you present your license, nobody is there to actually counsel you about what God union of marriage is, what it means, what are the roles, responsibilities. You know, nobody's there to counsel you on that when you go to the courthouse and you sign these contracts. And, you know, they have you, the only thing in there is where they possibly, you know, may have you put your hand on the Bible, the judge may put her hand on the Bible, you raise your right hand, you say something, now you're married. But there needs to be more counsel, there needs to be more truth behind these contracts because you find out very quickly that as a sinner, as an unrighteous person living holy, it's very easy to go out here and get one of these contracts. And then what do you find yourself? You find yourself in a clash amongst sinners, a clash amongst evils, and next thing you know, it ends up in divorce. But what happened to us focusing on God prior to marriage during the courtship phase just to find out if our spirits are even yoked? even if our spirits are meant to be together and it's to see if we have the discipline to focus on God. Modern day marriage certificates don't require that. That is why divorce is so high. Divorce is gonna continue to be high as long as people aren't focusing on God. And I want you to understand that in my life, I realize from the time that I'm reading these scriptures and accepting them wholeheartedly and submitting to God, that there's a different type of commitment that somebody living righteous is held to versus somebody who just signs a contract and thinks they can exit it with just another piece of paper. That's a totally different concept that many of you will never get to experience, but I highly encourage you seek it out for yourself. And for those, you know, thinking about going this route, I'm not going to tell you that you shouldn't or you should do it, but look how it is played out for men and women across the country, in the world, across the United States. It hasn't ended good. And why is because we're not focused on God. God tells us what we should do premarital, while dating, while courting. He tells us specifically, you know, things that we should refrain from in order to give time just to see what our spirits are saying. And this is one thing that I guarantee a lot of times we marry based upon the flesh. You know, this person I've seen, you know, when I first see them, the initial attraction is physical. He or she has a banging body. This person is sexy. He or she is fine. And next thing you know, 
couple good deeds, couple encounters, you guys are getting hitched, but nobody has pretty much sought out the counsel of their elders, of righteous elders that know scripture, know God's word. Nobody has seeked that out. And if everybody that was able to get a marriage certificate, marriage license, chances are if you said, hey, in order for you to get um, this license, in order for you to get married, in order for you to get a certificate, chances are that if you had to sit down you know, over several sessions and seek wise counsel of somebody that knows scripture, somebody that knows God's will, knows what the truth is, chances are a lot of us wouldn't even be married because this counsel, this uh, elder that knows scripture, that knows what God's will is, knows what God's desire is for a marriage, knows what it means, actually has experienced it, is going to present some things to us that we're not ready to deal with, things that we need to work on ourselves that furthermore uh, show us that we need to focus on God in everything that we're doing whether it be marriage dating relationships you know focus on God and everything you do and he will not steer you wrong there is safety in counsel the Bible tells us that but many of us don't seek it many of us don't get it and there has to be more counsel inside of uh, you know contracts like this before we get to that point of signing our name on things because a lot of us don't even know the law behind these contracts, let alone the history. That way, when you find out your spirits aren't equally yoked, then you find out that it's hell and high water for you to exit. And possibly you could have avoided this whole thing if you were focusing on God. I want to tell you that based upon the history of these licenses, these um, certificates, God was never a part of it. God was never a part of it. And if it was, it would be mentioned all throughout it. God says this. God says that. Mind my daughter's kind of video. I'm trying to give you guys some wisdom, some, some truth. And um, yeah, we're going to start our day. But in everything you do, especially marriage, focus on God. That is your light. That is your, your guidance. That is the direction that you should go. And you can look at it. Look at the men and women on um, Housewives of Atlanta. Look at the men and women on there. And I do mean men and women because... It takes two in order to enter into a marriage contract. And you look at the kind of drama, the kind of foolishness that they stir up and other people are looking at them as status symbols and saying, hey, you know, if she can make it out of that or if he can make it out of that, I want that too because that life looks good. That's not the life God intended for you. I know it's the truth that you don't want to hear, but you will find in scripture that what I'm saying, it has its purpose, it has its, it has its importance. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, check out the link in the description. Use my discount code for 5 to 10% off your entire cart because I'm only shooting a gun barrel straight.